everybody, I'm Rachel and welcome back to Musical Mondays in Apartment One. So today I'm going to do uh, The Element Song by Tom Lair, um, because yes, I am that big of a nerd. Uh, so here we go. Antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptonium, germanium, and iron, americium, euthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lucidium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubinium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and stratocone, and silicone, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, I hope you all are paying attention, because there's going to be a quiz next period. There's holium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and molybdenum and mesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and lead, praseodymium pl and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, and tantalum, dechesium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium, and calcium, and chromium, and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelevium, einsteinium, nobelium, and argon, crypt and argon, kryptonium, radon, zinc, and zinc, and bronium, and carb, chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard. Except that's not true anymore because the song was written a long time ago. And there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. Leave a like, say something nice. If you want to leave here feeling content or subscribe, ring the bell if you want to see more of my content.